in doubles two times in 2015. And he's looking to be in good form. I guess we've got the men's doubles final later today with Fanjin Dong and Shu Shin versus Masataka Morizono and Yuya Oshima. You know, when the two Japanese players played, they had two match points on the eventual world champions in 2015 in Sujo. So we'll see. And just to let you know, you can follow us on social media at ITTF World, all the social media from Facebook to Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Weibo. You can send in your questions, ask, uh, excuse me, hashtag ask the commentator. Ian and I will be happy to address anything you have to ask. And when it comes to history, nobody knows it better than Ian Marshall. So the encyclopedia is here. Take advantage of that. Now, looking at these two players, consistency with Lin Gao Yuan, if he can perform under pressure, again, the test is here. Now, also, as far as the draw goes, Xu Xin, the only player to beat Ma Long twice in 2016, the most undefeated player in the world since 2015. I mean, only had one loss in 2015 on the world tour to Sean Quinn. And Xu Xin twice, early on in the year, was able to do it. So against Fan Zhendong, he's seemed to lose grip pretty much, and it seems quite unlikely. But you never know. Well, I think here... Uh... This is the, the big test. This is the uh, test as to which comes away with the honours degree. I think this is a massive test for both of them. I mean, remember Lin Gao Yang, uh, four World Junior Championships. I first saw him in 2009 in Cartagena de Indias in Colombia. He lost semi-final Fangbo. Then the next three, he lost in the final. Uh, let me see. First, he lost to Song Hong Yuan. He then lost to Koki Niwa and he then lost to Fan Zendong. And three, three finals and he lost them all. So there is this little question mark over Lin Goyang. And Koki Niwa is still in the tournament. A lot of people curious after he beat Xu Xin at the Asian Championships if he has the power to do it. He also beat Ma Long in 2012. So the real question is who is capable of beating the top Chinese players? And we've got a few players left in the tournament from outside of China that are capable of picking off one here and there. Either way, Lin Gao Yuan now to start off this best of seven round of 16 singles match with the serve. Awkward ball, slow and spinny at the back of the table. Xu Xin carefully waits for it to come off to make the attack. Now for me with Lin Gao Yuan, the question was, would he be able to get through all the foreigners to make it to the Chinese players? And he's managed to do it. Well, that's the first test, isn't it? Really is. Beautiful backhand. Now this is where Xu Xin gets beaten wide to the forehand early in the point because he's so quick to step around the corner and make that cross court or at least the step around forehand attack. Now just to let you know, Lin Gao Yuan in the opening round we saw him play against Alexander Kanin from Belarus, and after that, played Daniel Habison, who knocked out Kenta Matsudaira, so who was having a great tournament. And then following that, beat Sharath Kamala Chanta from India, four games to two. Beautiful flip kill. Now with the pen hold grip, it's naturally down. You're not fighting gravity as much as shake hands. The flip game over the table, it's gonna be very strong. And also with all that wrist flexibility, Shushin can put it anywhere on the table with his forehand flips. And that is one of his strengths. I would suggest, as you've intimated, his problem, if he has a problem, it's when he's pinned to the backhand. And that's easier said than done. Right idea here, trying to go down the line to the forehand. Now Xu Xin with a very long stroke, he takes the ball a bit later than most of his Chinese teammates, which is probably why he has to have such fast footwork to cover so much ground with the ball being taken that late. But we get to see a lot of lobbing rallies, some very creative shots hooking with side spin because they're taken from down low. Beautiful fast serve right into the backhand for the point. Can't remember the last time I've seen such a fast straight serve from Xu Xin. No, when we look at Xu Xin, we, we associate Asian players having short, quick strokes. Well, I mean, Xu Xin's forehand, as you just see this, it's the length of the river Nile. So, so long, it goes right round his backside. Incredible length for an Asian player. So, so far, he hasn't let Lin Gao Yuan get comfortable. He's up by four. 
two serves here for Ga Yuan. But in the touch game as well, Shushin over the table is just very solid, very comfortable to start off the match. Beautiful backhand, and he follows it up more to the middle of the table while Shushin's looking to step around. Placement's so important. Gavin and I talked a lot about Timo Bull's placement yesterday and how he always seems to jam up the opponent and be in the right position. That ball looked like it was in reach from that angle, but Shushin was clearly surprised by the placement. Once again, parallel down the line, deep to the backhand corner. Once he can get Shushin off the table, his speed is going to be really tough for Shushin to deal with. Oh, beautiful patience. Waits for just a moment, sees it coming off the table, and as soon as Shushin takes a step and leans to the backhand corner, he goes the other way. He did well to pick that up. Textbook forehand stroke on the receive. Really just picture perfect here. And not easy. You could see from the weight he had to be in near the table, but it's tough to be leaning forward at the table right there as well. Look at these surprises left and right. That's four points in a row from down 2-7. What a turnaround. The game's not over until it's over. Shushin's going to have to get in earlier. He's going to have to focus on his receives because once he's back off the table, it's trouble. Most powerful forehand flip we've seen from Ling Gao Yuan, a kill shot. And that's the point. He's able to do that because he is so, so good from the wrist, so good from the hands. You know, as a commentator, a lot of people ask, Adam, who do you think is going to win? And it's tricky. Most people are only focusing on Ma Long and Fan Zhendong, which is reasonable, but Ling Gao Yuan could sneak in here and surprise a lot of people. I think you called him the dark horse. I think you hit the nail on the head, Adam. Again, deep to the backhand. He's moving around well. He's breaking the patterns. Just a few shots wide to the forehand and a few deep to the backhand. And Xu Xin can't anticipate, can't move early. And if he waits too long, again, he finds himself back from the table and in trouble. So six straight points for Lin Gao Yuan. <clears throat> this is better anticipation. Xu Xin gets a ball where he's going and counters it quickly to stay in the point and take it. Now, one thing we see Xu Xin do a lot of is that underspin, side spin, sort of slicing shot out wide from his forehand. I wonder if we're going to see that from Ling Gao Yuan. Oh, a little bit off the top of the net, but a beautiful counter. And also, we talked about the speed of Ling Gao Yuan. He's so fast. Even right behind the table, he can use his opponent's power and get a confident stroke back. Such efficient strokes. Incredibly efficient. Efficient because of the hand skills. Oh, beautiful counter, stays on top of it. Now, Shushin's forehand is so powerful. He's got a very long stroke, but he's really having to stay focused here to get on top of that ball because it's loaded with spin when Ling Gao Yuan takes that shot. But, uh, I mean, being hypercritical, why on earth does Ling Gao Yuan play the first attack to the forehand? Why not down the middle or to the backhand? Right, as soon as Shushin looks to be a little bit more central on the table where he's not stepping around the backhand corner. Playing it to the forehand is going to be dangerous. So tied up here after being down 2-7, dead even in the first game. And the risky serve does not pay off. It goes long off the back end. Game point to Ling Gao Yuan, the dark knight. Now Lin Gao Yuan needs to look because the chances are that it won't be short. This serve is under pressure. Keep looking for the top spin, Lin Gao Yan. Keep looking. Oh, good service. A little bit surprised that one got past him. Xu Xin has used side spin on his loops throughout the match. And that one just took a good jump just out of the way of Lin Gao Yuan's racket. Different angle at the point here. 
See that ball bending away wide to the forehand. Lin Gaiyuan looking down at the table. Crazy kick. Well, let's see if he attacks the backhand. Now that's better tactics for me from Lin Gaiyuan. Almost looked like he took a little pace off. I think there was maybe. Yeah, it slowed down. It was left in front of Shushin a little bit. Another game point back to Lin Gaiyuan. Look for the serve, drift in long, then go young. Look for it. No oh. finishing shot. What a point in a way to clinch game one. 12 10. Lin Gao Yuan in beautiful form, coming back from a very dark place. 2 7 down, manages to take it 12 10. And what a performance. Shushin versus Lin Gao Yuan, the dark knight. Game two coming up after this. Back for game number two and Shushin the cloud walker in blue with the serve down zero games to one against the Dark Knight Lin Gaoyuan in red. Mental strength from Lin Gaoyuan to come back from 2-7. Well, he's very composed, isn't it? And compared with other matches of this level, they've both been very quiet. Right, it's always interesting to see how players from the same national association either show their respect or change their behavior when they're playing each other. That's right. I mean, I, I, I watched uh, the Japanese play, I mean, the sensation, Tomokazo Harimoto play um, Mr. Tani. I mean, every point he was uh, yelling, motivating himself, not doing anything wrong. I mean, not doing anything wrong at all, but just totally different character to these two. Very, very subdued. Oh. That is superb. Very, very fast. Top of the bounce. I just give Zuzhin no time at all. It's funny you brought up Harimoto because credit to him for playing his game. He didn't change. He stuck. This is how he always plays, and he does what he needs to to play his best game. I applaud him. No, it's not a criticism whatsoever. It's just the, uh, the response that Harimoto had when he's playing a fellow Japanese player compared with these two. Right, it's yeah, interesting, it's the drastic difference. Yeah. yeah. So Lingao Yuan only 22 years old. So another young prospect for the future of China to team up with Fan Zhendong in the future. Interesting. Oh, well played. Now you mentioned the soft hands, the great touch of Lingao Yuan. I think he's going to have to try and be aggressive early in the point to push Shushin back off the table because Shushin's just too unpredictable when he's over the table. Main thing for uh, Lin Gaoyang, if we talk about power in table tennis, well, he has a lot because of his high skill level. But if he's back from the table against Shushin, he's, he's going to lose. His task is to stay close to the table uh, because Shushin, of all the Chinese players, I think he needs that little bit more time than most. So for, for um, Lin Guoyan, stay close to table and uh, play as quickly as you can. Now, top spin. Ah, that's the way, that's the way. And uh, for uh, Zhu Jin, well, he has to find a way to uh, execute this lethal forehand. This one carries just a bit wide. 
There is extra pressure, though, when you see that Shushin is not turning the corner and you've already decided to play it to the forehand to make it as wide as possible and as deep as possible so that you don't have to deal with just a murderous forehand coming back. Now, Shushin, world rank number three, is 27 years old, the youngest of the three elder members of the big four. Well, he's making mistakes there, is uh, Lin Goyan, but for me, and that was the right tactic. And at this point in the game, in game one, he's much better off than he was last game. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. What, what was it? 7 2, did you? That's Seven right. Two? Yeah. It's always interesting to see as well, you know, Chinese Super League. Anything happening on Chinese soil against your teammates versus on the world stage. For Fan Zhendong, he was 3-0 and zero against Ma Long and hadn't beaten him a single time on the world tour until relatively recently in the last year. And these are the points. Xu Xin gets so many back on the table. And with that side spin on top of the ball, it's just difficult to deal with. Lin Gao Yuen stuck in a position. He could try playing it deep to the backhand, but he I tries so. to... Yeah, that might be the easier way to go. Oh, I think as a rule of thumb, you get the player back from the table, go down the backhand. Right, whenever you can, that's... You know, the, the opponent's going to be less dangerous to counter with the backhand, although Marcos Freitas yesterday versus Timo Boll did it successfully on several occasions. Timo Boll in great form right now. I know the home crowd yeah. will be absolutely on fire watching him play. So with the second towel break of the game, again, point for point, dead even. Trying to think of the great comebacks I've seen Shushin have. I've seen him lose a game to a foreigner in the first and then quickly turn it around. I think this, I, I'm thinking, am I thinking Asian Championships in Pattaya? Or Asian, Asian Games, maybe. He was 3-0 down, came back to win against, was it Mitsutani? I'm not sure. But I think this is one comment that uh, head coach Lou Goliang has made about him. Too, hof too often he's having to come back. Right, that's something as a coach you don't want to be. It's, it's quite a stressful experience. You don't want the opponent to have a good look at winning the match. As far as comebacks against Mizutani, Kuwait Open 2016. Ah, twice. Uh, also when we played in the... Asian Championships, where we played in India, exactly the same. And that would be, I think, 2010. Um, he had three match points for Japan to beat China in the final of the men's team event. Uh, lost three, then had one more and lost the match. And then earlier this, earlier last year... In Kuwait. In Kuwait, he was... 10-4. Ten, 10-4 four. Ten, four in the seventh, wasn't he? And lost eight seven. in a row. Yeah. Or as I should say, Shushin won eight in a row to steal the yeah, match. Sure. So impressive composure and mental game from Shushin. Man, if that ball comes down on the table off the top of the net, it's going to be very difficult to deal with. That one sits up just a little bit too high. Lingao Yuan at the back of the table so quick, and his placement has been on point. I'm very impressed with his balance and his speed. And he uses the opponent's spin and speed so well, and he can be a very dangerous player, and I think is a realistic threat to take this tournament, to knock out the top two seeds. off the top of the net, but good focus there from Ling Yuen to keep it in play. So now three game points for Ling Yuen to go up two to zero over Shushin and force one of those comebacks, a classic comeback from Shushin yeah, yeah. that we've talked about. That's right. Oh, beautiful flip kill, short side, parallel down the line. One game point saved at the third towel break.
Just in case you're curious, Xu Xin in the opening round beat Tomas Polanski from Czech Republic 4 to 2, dropping two games in his first match. Poland's pen holder sensation Wang Zengyi 4 to 0, and then Ugo Calderano in the last round 4 games to 1. Calderano, a very impressive player, so solid victory for Xu Xin. Well placed a little bit more onto the elbow on the forehand side, and Xu Xin saves another game point. Pressure starting to build for the Dark Knight in red. Xu Xin looking difficult, but it's so close to keep the service short. Ooh. Heavy side spin on the reverse pendulum and the receive carries off wide. Ling Gao Yuan 11 to 9 to take the second game for a 2 to 0 lead. We'll be back for game three right after this. And as we come back for game three, it's a 2-0 lead for the lesser known player, Ling Gao Yuan in red. Also five years younger and lower on the world rankings. And as you mentioned, Ian, that reverse pendulum serve pulled out in a clutch moment after dropping two game points. Well, exactly, it's the first time I think I've seen him use it. What do you do? That forehand flip kill, the receive wasn't bad at all. And from this angle, it's tough to tell how high the ball is but it looked like a solid receive. So fast to get in. Well, what's impressed in me, uh, we've praised his talents, but Lingo Yan is playing in a uh, mighty, mighty important table tennis match. He's very, very composed. And that right there was very difficult. Xu Xin spinning it wide out to the forehand and then softly playing it to the exact opposite corner. And as fast as the backhand is from Lingo Yuan, one thing we haven't seen a lot of is when the ball is coming in slowly, him generating a lot of power from his backhand. He's very good at using his opponent's spin and speed for the counter game. Oh, that one's not coming back. Signature step around forehand attack from Xu Xin. Look at that ball just bend away, a little bit of side spin on it for the inside out shot. Strong from the shoulder. Well focused, a loaded ball and he stays on top of it, pummels through. Now I think it might have been a shoulder injury that we saw in 2015, Xu Xin was having a little bit of... He did, didn't he, against Frank Bo? Right. That's right, was it the end of the... Fifth game or end of the sixth game. Uh, that's right true. And we rarely see him injured at all. I mean, the injuries we know about from China, of course, Zhang Zikou. But uh, Xu Xin feels, and Ma Long as well, I think that what he said was the only thing he fears is injury. Other than that, if, if he stays healthy, he's on top of the game. Ma Long sort of automatic forehand. <laughs> right. But... Uh... For Zhu Jin, it's, it's finding the opportunity to play this big forehand, and uh, at the moment, Lingo Yang's nullified that. Ooh, there we go. Those are some of the fastest steps I've seen from Xu Xin to turn the corner. He didn't leave early. He waited until the ball was contacted and then quickly shuffled the feet. Have a chance to see it here. Soft touch. Opening backhand. 
And of course, arguably, uh, Zhu Jin is stronger with the forehand from the backhand because he can turn his body easily, more naturally. So, better for Zhu Jin this game. I think we forget sometimes, these are two left-handed players. Well, it's a point I was going to make, of course. Um, oh, arguably, maybe Zhu Jin is better against the right hand the way he can create the angles. Very familiar score here. This is some of the fastest pace back and forth cross courts here. But again, even from under the table, you could see the timing and Shushin putting a bit of side spin on it. Heavy top spin. The point goes the way of Shushin. In game one, it didn't. This is when the comeback started many points in a row for Lin Gao Yuan. Chinese fans in the crowd there. They show up on the world tour. I think that's cool. I'm excited to see more people internationally Sorry. following their favorite players around the world. Yeah, we were both in Qatar this year. Yes. And uh, there's the uh, Jangjiko fan club. And at the end of the day, I'm the master of ceremonies. They come across to me and I've to sign all their scarves. And I said, you know, this is ridiculous. Why? They said, we like the way you pronounce Jangjiko. <laughs> Quite amazing, the, the Yorkshire accent from the north of England. <laughs> it's a very rich accent, and many people wish they were born with. And you can see here, Lin Gaiyuan using the table, playing wide to the forehand quite a bit. The deep forehand corner is his hot spot, middle of the table, staying away from, trying to play the corner. Xu Xin, on the other hand, looks like he likes to go into the backhand, and that he's playing soft shots in near the net quite a bit as well. Oh, if that one comes down, it's trouble. Xu Xin had already committed to the other side. So in a best of seven match, 2-0 down. Definitely something that uh, very possible to come back from and quickly turn around. 3-0 psychologically is quite a different situation to be in. So much power on that forehand. You can hear the sound. It's so high pitched as he just slaps through the ball. But it's now six game points for Xu Xin. You know, we talked about how he got eight in a row against Jun Mizutani. But similarly, Jun Mizutani got five in a row down 7 10 at the Olympics. That's right, yeah. I mean, let's just pay credit to Jun Mizutani. He did beat Zhu Jin in uh, the men's team final and in the whole of the uh, Rio Olympic Games. Mizutani lost one match, and that was tomorrow. Now, that's some performance. Right, I think that's excusable. Well, I think we get things out of perspective at times. Well, aggressive play at the table, two points in a row. Lin Gao Yuan saving two game points. Now he has two serves on his side. Remember, there are no coaches in the corners as these players are from the same national association. He has the opportunity in a snake shot fished up from down below the table. Xu Xin with the brilliant save, 11 points to six, gets his first game this match. And as the plot thickens, we'll take a short break and be back for game four right after this. As we come back for game four, we had a chance to see Xu Xin getting his first game. His footwork so impressive. Ian, you were talking about the lower body strength required out here. Yeah, you know, I think it. Uh, if you watch, uh, especially Zhu Jin play, it just underlines how fit you have to be to be a top-class table tennis player. 
the, uh, the extent to which he uses the lower part of the body, the pressure he puts on his knees and on his legs is, is quite immense. You know, you just see, look how much he bends those legs to play. Yeah, and I do think that that is the one, if I point to a muscle on a table tennis player, it's the quads. Yeah. From Fan Zhendong to Zhang Zike, Xu Xin, Ma Long, I mean, all of them just line after line of muscle. Well, he's come out much more positive this game, Xu Jin. Much more positive. Yeah, I've seen a few where the ball comes off the top of the net and it, the rally gets a little bit longer, the pace changes, and Lin Gao Yuan has struggled a little bit in these longer rallies. I'm not sure what the statistics might tell me, but my feeling is that Zhujin is now moving much better. Not the second time, amazing shot and the footwork there, but the counter backhand, the first one that Xu Xin hit back down the line, you could hear the crowd start to gasp. And Lin Gao Yuan very focused, keeps it in play, counters it back with power. That was just a cover shot wide to the forehand. Look how much movement sideways there is on that ball. The first backhand loop, and he goes for a second one. And this is part of the reason I think he doesn't trust himself that the percentages, the consistency isn't there. Good point. But when he's at the back of the table and it's not a fast shot coming in, Shushin's much more comfortable to put the spin on the ball first and open up with the backhand. But I'm seeing now a much more positive uh, Zhujin than certainly I saw in the second game. He's moving better, he's attacking quicker. Uh, he's raised his game a level. These are a few other shots. You know, I think a big part of it is the footwork of Xu Xin speeding up, that he's covering the yes. table better. It puts more pressure on Lin Gao Yuan to play it a little bit wider, and he's missed the table wide on several occasions and now. He's, uh, he's certainly playing quicker. He's moving better, and uh, he's quicker on his first attack. And before the serve, I heard a little vocalization, trying to pump himself up, a little spirit in Lin Gao Yuan. There we go again, rewards himself for keeping that ball down, staying on top of it, and playing it to the very corner with a bit of side spin on it himself. Yeah, you could see the bend there. Shushin getting a taste of his own medicine. Now, as far as world rankings go, Lin Gao Yuan playing the number three in the world. He's number 40 in the world currently. But it's, you know, as far as these rankings go, a lot of it has to do with how many opportunities they get to play on the world tour. Lin Gao Yuan you almost never see on the world tour, yet he retains world number 40. Yeah. Uh, Lin Gao Yuan for the last two Olympic Games, both London uh, and Rio, has been a member of a group that's uh, been the practice group for the first team. Yeah, I've seen Joe Yu at a lot of tournaments as well, sort of hanging out as a practice teammate. Wu Yang here. I mean, that just you've got the best chopper in the world, someone who's, what, in the top ten, sitting the bench. Uh, Yan An's here. Right. Um, there's all those go you thing for the women. Um, they bought the first team, second team, and third team. <laughs> so to the fans, if you want to meet any of the Chinese players who aren't in the tournament, great opportunity to meet some celebrities and high-level players that are here as practice partners, a little bit less focused than, say, those you'll see walking around with their headphones on trying to just keep their head in the game. Now, here we have some big points, I feel, for uh, Zhu Xin. Big points. Yeah, this could be the turning point in the match. If it's 3-1 for Lin Gao Yuan, he might start to loosen up a bit, feel a bit more confident, and Xu Xin's going to feel pressure. These are the loose ones, right? I mean, the angles, we've seen a few points now, probably about five or so, where Lin Gao Yuan has found the opening, he's got Xu Xin guessing the wrong way, but just isn't able to put it down on the table. Start of this game and in the previous game, the tempo, the rhythm of Xu Xin's play was much quicker. Oh, 
Oh, there he goes. Difficult ball again. A bit of side spin from under the table. Xu Xin getting ready to counter with the inside out forehand. Xu Xin thought it was coming down the backhand, didn't he? Yep. He's ready for a backhand. Oh dear, dear, flat footed. Clear thinking. And that is absolutely the more difficult shot, but the wiser shot. Xu Xin playing the odds there. Hesitant. Right, we saw him early in the game. In game one, he was waiting for the serves to come to just about that position, and he'd get into the table, and if he had to lean back just a little bit to loop, he'd hit a very spinny ball. But he didn't come into the table enough on that last one. So two-point lead for Shushin now with two serves on his side. Drop shots are so difficult, especially with all that side and topspin. I mean, this is one of the most common questions I get about table tennis, especially from people who aren't quite as familiar or, say, elite players. You've got the other guy so far from the table. Why don't they just dink it back? Why don't they just leave it on the table? Good luck. Give it a try. That's what happens, I'd say, 75% of the time. Not always that easy because of the amount of spin that's coming on the ball. Right, it's deep on the table. Even if you can keep the ball on the table, Xu Xin, the ball's going to come off. Xu Xin's going to come back in for the attack. And of course, she must take a very early timing. With the backhand near the table paying off here for Xu Xin. A parallel shot. Comes back in, turns around. Four-point lead and a chance to tie it up at 2-2. So when we talk about mental toughness, I feel like there are many moments in a match, but this is where it really starts to thicken up for Lin Gao Yuen to show his mental maturity on the table. Again, only 22 years old and not a lot of exposure on the international scene. Nice. This time he tucks back and takes the backhand. We've seen him try to run around for the forehand many times when the ball's played from deep off the table from Xu Xin, but this is a wise adjustment for Lin Gao Yuen. Well, the way he plays that backhand, it's the uh, ultimate in efficiency. Control from the elbow, speed from the wrist, and that's his skill. His great, great skill. Could be the Lucia one of the men's game. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> And this time it works out for him. He runs all the way back around to take the forehand. And because he's late to get there, it's a difficult shot. He takes a little bit of speed off it, puts some side spin on as well. The change of pace. See it here in the replay. Short stroke. A little bit more to the middle of the table. Gets the lob. Look how far he has speed to come. He gets the cross. Amazing. He's fast in slow motion. Speedy Gao Yuan. Look again, the legs. Yeah. One point difference. That's three in a row for Lingao Yuan now on the receive. Ah. Heavy underspin short to the forehand. A big serve. We hadn't heard much vocalization out of Xu Xin either. Generally quite uh, quiet and calm at the table. Again, the pressure building, and it's two game points for Xu Xin. The Lu Xuan comment was simply the efficiency. When I think efficiency, yeah. I think Lu Xuan was some of the shortest strokes I've ever seen. So fast. Yeah, good point. So now two serves to save for Ling Gao Yuen. Power with the forehand flip. We've seen several of them come back. One game point saved, one more to go. wondering if he'll produce that pendulum serve again. That's oh, the reverse the pendulum? The, yeah, end of the second game. Right, you and I both saw that reverse pendulum for the very first time. I think so, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. No? 
Traditional pendulum comes off the table of the forehand. Not by a lot. Shushin gets it from over the table with the forehand rip. 11 to 9. Shushin ties it up. Two games apiece, and we'll see who takes the lead in game five coming up right after this. Back for game number five, Xu Xin, the cloud walker, making sure he's got all the traction he needs to walk along clouds here and get everything back. Again, the closer he is to the table, the more threatening he will be, but he's managed to win the last two games. He comes straight up with the pendulum serve, which I thought he should have tried at the end of the fourth game. Oh, the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit late. It's always tough to look back. I think most table tennis players do a good job of moving forward. And again, successful two in a row. It's paid dividends. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Right, right. <laughs> you know what else he should have done earlier? No. Oh, for sure. I mean, I don't know what he's missing about that. <laughs> ah, now a little bit more animated. Yeah, we see some fire, a little hole who getting into it, pumping himself up. And this is, you know, a lot of people criticize other people for players for making noise. But whatever gets you your best performance, if you're not shouting at the opponent, it's exactly. part of your game. As so long as it's not intimidatory, I think it's fine. So the first point dropped from Ling Gao Yuan, Xu Xin on the scoreboard. So we've seen only reverse pendulum serves so far. This is the first point that Shushin has won against at this match, this game rather. It's very difficult to time right off the bounce when it's deep on the table, but he's done it with success on many occasions. Too good with that block, just a bullet coming into the backhand, and he bends around the ball to put some side spin on it, making it just trail away from Shushin's forehand. Lin Gao Yuan hanging on to his lead by two, up 4-2. Well, he's used the pendulum serve. I think now it's time for a change and uh, just give this serve a rest now uh, for two or three points because the last serve was not good. And just to clarify for those of you at home not familiar, the pendulum serve is the more common one where they hit inside. Reverse pendulum, they do the opposite and come around the outside of the ball. So Lin Gao Yuan's been very good with that reverse pendulum. If you can imagine uh, pendulum... Uh, Let's say the forearm is vertical, or virtually vertical. So we have the pendulum. There you go. Would that explain to uh, our viewers? Yeah, much like a pendulum yeah, clock, exactly. the grandfather That's clock. Right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's fighting, but... Uh, you heard the response uh, uh, from Lingo Yan. And this is, you know, we got to see the drop shot. It wasn't a point ender. The shot was quality to follow up. When he stopped the ball, he just slowed it down a bit, but it's very difficult to keep short on the table. So it comes off and Shushin comes back in and the rally continues. I think your name has to be Jan Ove Valna. Right. <laughs> and back to the reverse pendulum serve. He's been sticking with it. So the score right now, six to three. For those of you at home, confused by the score on screen. Ling Gao Yuan leading six points to three. Go on, 
Outstanding point, another drop shot. Xuxin so quick to come back in, and there was an early net here in the point that Xuxin recovered with outstanding feeling. You know, it really brings such an element of suspense after that drop shot to see what's going to happen with Xuxin running back into the table and then turning to take an aggressive ball. So now seven to three. There we go. The bread and butter for Xu <laughs> Xin. It's been that's a while right. since we've seen it. I think that's a good thing for Lin Gao Yuan. If we don't see that shot for a long time, that means Lin Gao Yuan's doing at least something right. Returning serve well. Exactly. Long, fast serve. We've seen it a few times throughout the match, and it's been pretty successful for Xuxin, despite the one that went off the table. Also, that high toss serve makes it a little bit more difficult to read. The ball comes into contact with the racket a bit faster. Also able to generate more spin and speed. I guess maybe I should say spin or speed. You could choose what you want. Short side of the table, just a bit too short for Xuxin's shot. You know, either of these guys, both Xuxin and Ling Gao Yuan, are players that are actual contenders, have a chance to beat anyone in this tournament. But I think a lot of people forgot about Ling Gao Yuan and were thinking maybe Xuxin. He's one of the big four, number three in the world. I would agree with everything you said there, Adam. I think you've got it spot on. All right. Passed the test, and Xuxin trying for a second backhand in that rally. Once again, so impressive on the first. It's just a less consistent shot. Lingao Yuan very focused to stay on top of bounce, right at the back of the table, and keep the pressure on Xuxin throughout the point. Too good. What are you going to do? I mean, Lin Gao Yuan got so many blasts back, just rockets all around the table. See it one more time here. Really low, net for net. So the power from the legs. Again, yeah. look at the power from the legs of Su Jin. Yeah, just stare at the quads for a minute. Amazing that he can keep his balance and he gets his feet so far apart. We've got a timeout now. Lin Gao Yuan wanting to make sure he stops the comeback, cauterizes the bleeding. A four-point lead. Now, he was the one to come back. Again, game one, he was down 2-7, pulled off the most massive comeback yet. But lost the last two games straight and needs to keep some positivity in his game, needs to find the calm, the coolness, and the confidence. He's been all reverse pendulum served this whole game, and he's on the receive now. Xu Xin has pulled out some long serves. Went with the shorter serve on the last point. And that appears to be it right at the back of the table. This is the timing Xu Xin wants to be the most threatening player he can be. If he does manage to go on in the tournament, if he can take these shots just like that, he's going to be in control and he's going to be very, very difficult. That's interesting that at 9-6, he's taken the timeout. I thought he might wait if it went to 9-7 but uh, there's maybe a lesson he's taken the time out he's got a three point gap and there's still some miles left in this table tennis match, you can do something about it, it's not as though you take it at 9-9 in the 7th when it's almost panic and I think as you said earlier in the tournament Ian Timeouts coming earlier and earlier. I think that is a good thing, right? You want to make sure you have time to implement it and it affects the match. I think it's a case of having time to affect the match as well. Right. So quite impressive for me on the mental side for Lin Gao Yuan to recognize taking that timeout early enough. Seemed just right. Whoa! Beautiful combination, deep into the backhand cross court, and then that little bit of side spin on the last backhand. So quick off the bounce, there's the reverse pendulum. One, 
And he's able to keep the wrist oh, stiff and hold it back. Yeah, so flexible, so strong near the table with the wrist. So three game points for Lin Gao Yuan to take a three to two lead over the number three player in the world. And he does it, reverse pendulum serve, generates a lot of underspin. Xu Xin doesn't read it just right. And now Xu Xin's gonna have rope burn on his back because he is back against the ropes and we'll be back for game six right after this. So we are back for game six and Ling Gao Yuan, the Dark Knight in red, leading three games to two over Xu Xin, the Cloud Walker in blue. Not out of reach. Xu Xin starting with the serve. But that little bit of confidence, that momentum, it's been a while since he's won a game. He had lost two games before. And now Ling Gao Yuan might have a bit of encouragement on his side of the table, the finish line getting ever closer. Sujin's lost his first service. He must now come out all guns blazing. Got away with it now. So we've been getting some new stats throughout this tournament, some cool technology introduced to table tennis. And the fastest sh uh, shot I saw yesterday was 83 kilometers per hour by Timo Bull. But I just got this in. It's been reported that Timo hit a shot in a rally that was 114 kilometers per hour against Marcos Freitas in a rally. That's shocking, that just blows everything away. I need a bit of advice on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm curious myself. We'll yeah. see. But a powerful shot there from Xu Xin. I mean, the measurement is how they make contact with the ball. I'm not sure quite how it's measured. Yeah, we, we all have a lot of uh, conversations to have to, to really understand the new statistics a bit better. Where it's taken from, if it's measured over the table as exactly. it crosses the net. So Xu Xin with a strong start here, campaigning to send this to the game that will decide it all, the last deciding seventh game. So no timeouts left. Every towel break that Lin Gao Yuan has is gonna be a little bit of a mini timeout for him, a chance to regroup. At least no timeouts left on the side of Lin Gao Yuan. Good start from uh, Zhu Jin, exactly what he needed, but uh, two serves to come from Lin Gao Yuan. Just missing the short side of the table. You know, we've talked about a lot of things in this tournament. Emotion, psychology. And love came up when we were talking about uh, Schlager's win in 2003. He said, you know what made me win, Adam? I said, what's that? He said, I was in love. <laughs> Similarly, Xu Xin recently married. Last time he played this tournament, he wasn't. I guess it's relatively recent anyway, in the last year of his life. I think November, maybe? Yeah, his wife, I remember her winning the girls' singles title. <coughs> 
We must be going back now, 2007 World Junior Circuit Finals, when we played in Versace in Serbia. So after two points from Ling Gao Yuen, Xu Xin taking back the reins, getting in control here with a point to keep the lead by three rather than simply a one-point lead. Apology there for the net once again. We've seen Xu Xin having to adjust to net balls more than the other way around so far in this match. I think good for Xu Xin for having the ability, the quick feet to recover. You can see a bit of disappointment there as he turns away for another break going to his opponent. Will not come down off the edge of the racket. Love it when you do though, because it creates some really unusual and exceptional points. Again, we have a lot of Chinese fans here in the crowd. It's always interesting to hear who they're rooting for more, who they favor. Xu Xin definitely has a longer history of playing for the national team, a time to sort of accumulate more fans, more fame, celebrity. Some of the shots going a bit loose here. Now throughout the match, especially in the two games we saw Lin Gao Yuan lose in the longer rallies, he was missing wide a lot. He was having some trouble countering Xu Xin's side hooking forehand. And then the Chiquita, the banana flip over the table, Lin Gao Yuan has struggled the last two points and it is six game points for Xu Xin to send this to the seventh. Not so fast. Spinny shot from the backhand side in the middle of the table for Ling Gao Yuan to save a game point. This is interesting. I mean, sometimes people perform better under pressure. We've seen it a lot. It also we see, I'd say, and also we see that sometimes someone gets very close to winning and they soften up a little bit. They don't keep applying the same pressure that got them the game point to begin with. Four game points left. Xu Xin must be determined right here. Oh, and he sure is. Turns around and murders the ball down the short side of the table. It's a liner for Xu Xin, 11 to 6, 3-3. Grab your popcorn, folks. Game seven coming up right after this. As the players come back for game number seven, Xu Xin in blue, the cloud walker, won the last game. And so far, they're dead even, of course, to make it here. They will switch halves of the table when one player reaches five points to give an equal amount of time on each half. No advantage based on side. Lin Gao Yuan stretching out there, trying to stay loose, keep the blood flowing, not cramp or tighten up. Let's see if we get the reverse pendulum serve. It worked for him in the game that he won, game number five. Shushin wiping the sweat from the palm of the hand. Perfect placement from Shushin. Not just finding the middle, but starting into the body with the hooking spin makes it even more difficult for Lin Gao Yuan to decide which side of the racket is he going to use. 
From the start of the point, it looked good. Receive wasn't anything to blow me away. Same situation, deja vu sets up the third ball backhand attack, but this time a bit more power across court and he takes the point. This is a really expensive match. The stakes are so high for both of these players. Xu Xin could have his job taken by Ling Gao Yuan. That's the scenario, isn't it? And at the same time, Ling Gao Yuan might not get another opportunity so big for quite some time if he doesn't perform here. Correct. But uh, just listen to the vocal reaction from Zhu Jin. Two points she's won. He's, uh, he's been noisier than at any stage during the match. they come everybody thought including Shushin that it was coming to the other corner this is not an easy ball how does he create such an angle let's look at where he takes the ball from how deep on the table he is for this banana sheer sheer talent wow <laughs> yeah Pendulum. Beautiful block from the backhand, punches it back to the open court. We got a little bit of side spin on it to bend it away from Shushin's forehand. That's how fast Shushin is, that even if he steps way around the backhand corner for the forehand attack, he's still dangerous when it comes back to the forehand. He did well to control that, didn't he? He did well to control that backhand. That ball is coming at some speed. What did you say, Timo? Ball was 114? What yeah, was that I'm... one? 100? 99? <laughs> Great question. You know, every once in a while we see his uh, speed come up on the screen. I'm still skeptical about that stat. Yeah, I don't it. Yeah, I mean, it, it blew out the number one. I saw an 83 kilometer per hour shot. So to beat that by, you know, 31 kilometers per hour, it's tough to imagine. Again, I guess it depends on where they're measuring it from. Right off yeah, the yeah, racket. I'd just like to, uh, a bit more information, actually, yeah. Yeah, same here. There's some serious power. The opening backhand and Shushin driven off the table. They're going point for point here. It's only a one point lead, but importantly against Shushin's serve. Definitely want to take your points when you have the opportunity to set them up. Speed from the wrist on that backhand. In slow motion, you can barely even see it. You'd have Absolutely. to slow it down like times 10 to see what's up, like understand what's happening. That is the great skill of Lingo. Yan. Win or lose this match. Oh, once again, oh, right on top of the ball. The anticipation, this is like the Matrix out here. They see everything in slow motion. I mean, when you play the fastest players in the world time and time again in the Chinese Super League, you can take the pace, but it's mind-blowing for the rest of the world to see out here on the main stage. Be interested to know the speed that ball's coming from, Zuzin, because that is incredible control. Amazing control. And now we've got... Take time out. That's right, it's Xuxin using his timeout. Late in the match, he's saved it for a crucial time. And he's down 3-5 as they change sides of the table. I'm trying to think the serves. You know, we've seen a few long serves from Xuxin that have set him up for big points. The inside-out forehand whenever he can get it. But if Lin Gao Yuan's staying cool, he's going to look to see that Xu Xin is turning the corner and play it wide to the forehand. He's done it successfully throughout the match on many occasions. Absolutely. I mean, the, uh, the two-point gap in this game it is due to the great skill and control uh, of, of Lin Gao Yuan. I mean, if there was ever a player who could block the ball, control and win by blocking, it was Jan Obey Volder. And, uh, well, are we seeing something similar here? How many times did we see Volder just nonchalantly block a player out of position? Well, he hasn't done it nonchalantly, but he's done it. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he hasn't done the walk-off to get T no, embarrassing no, block. this is true. Yeah, 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 I'll give you that. <laughs> but, yeah, impressive blocking skill nonetheless. Pendulum service. 
combination again. Shushin falling back into old habits to turn the corner. It's tricky because when you're in Shushin's position, you want the forehand, but if you leave too early, it's almost, this is the rock, paper, scissors reference. You're guessing what your opponent's going to be doing before it happens just a little bit, and as soon as you recognize it, you're ready to go. Lingao Yuan is so ready for Shushin to turn the corner and play it the opposite way. Ever Zhu Jin needed good serve, good forehand topspin. Now is the time. Good in quickly. Exactly right, Zhu Jin. Must be looking all the time now after this next service to come in as quick as he can. Uh, not give uh, Lin Go Yan any time at all. And can Lin Go Yan produce one of his uh, magical blocks? Yeah, I think for Xu Xin, if he can get the backhand in early in the point, find the middle on Lin Gao Yuan, he's well, going to be in better position. Either side just coming very, very quickly. Oh, burned again on the wide forehand. Decision abilities, questionable to turn the corner so quickly. Uh, but I guess the best way to say it is bravo to Lin Gao Yuan for reading and going the opposite way. Thinking clearly, isn't he? He's thinking clearly. Yeah, impressive cool considering the, the uh, context right now. Two starts to come. Now, because he's world ranked number 40, this is only a round of 16 match. Otherwise, this might be a semifinal. Just a little fortunate. Yeah, it was tough to see from here. Maybe clip the top of the net. Did Sometimes we see an apology for the edge of the racket. Little. It's possible. play nice patience when somebody snakes it from down under the table you watch it a second longer you don't commit either way so that you can reset up your feet and spin the ball softer out in front Lin Gao Yuan did just that and this is the first time in a while I've seen him go back to the actual pendulum serve as opposed to the reverse pendulum and of course Shushin has to take that ball from down near the ground and then follow up with the wide bring him back into the table a little bit and run him around Oh dear, 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 dear. So five game points and match points for Lin Gao Yuan, the Dark Knight in red, to upset world number three, one of the big four. The job application is being turned in, and Lu Goliang is watching and reviewing said application. Xu Xin looking to save his job. What a forehand out wide. Again, under pressure. We've seen him come back from 4-10 against Jun Mizutani. But he's looking at someone else from the Chinese national team who beat him recently at the Marvelous 12. Now the serves. If he needs him, he's got two serves here. He's been very effective with the reverse pendulum. No, oh, in the back end. Catches the edge of the table. Oh. I was going to shout, and he's won, but it just, just nicked, just nicked. Xu Xin caught oh. between words by raising Ooh. his hand, and we're watching so closely. Wow. Thought it was over for sure, Ian. Adam, I was on my feet with you saying uh, victory for Lin Gao Yang, but it was the faintest of edges. Oh. Oh, second down. <laughs> so no timeouts left. If there were a time for a timeout, and it hadn't been used already, there's no question Lin Gao Yuan would take it here. He's practically taking one walking around before the serve right now. Normal serve. And he's missed it. Damn me. You know, we talked about, so I don't know if it's clear to a lot of people, oh, but the yeah. reverse pendulum versus the pendulum. His reverse pendulum won him game five. It was so effective, and he didn't use it in either of the last two serves. He went back to the traditional pendulum that we see Ma Long using so regularly. And now with the third towel break of the game, 
It looks like Xu Xin is much cooler than Lin Gao Yuan despite playing against two more match points. I'm sure man, man going back to Qatar, 10-4, Jun Mitsutani, another left-hander. Kuwait, yeah. Kuwait, sorry. Yeah. Not yet. These shots are match-winning shots from Lin Gao Yuan against almost anybody in the world. And Xu Xin, mental toughness, the job application is about an inch from the shredder. So earlier, about two minutes ago, he serves in the net to Su Jin, then he gets this ridiculous edge. Oh, dear me. Drying off the ball in the pocket, Xu Xin getting ready. Wow! Wow! Five match points in a row. And here we are, Deuce, in game number seven. It's not the first time we've seen this. Marcos Freitas and Tristan Floor. Two days ago, Xu Xin. It's still not over, though. This is a thing we see a lot. Someone comes all the way back and they start to rest. They pat themselves on the back. The job is not finished. He has not completely walked across the tightrope. We're going to be going serve for serve here. Now one point each. Lin Gao Yuan, whoever takes a two-point lead, Thank wins the serve. match. So that was the reverse pendulum serve. He went back to it. And Xu Xin continues his streak. Six points in a row. Ian, this is crazy. Unbelievable. I mean, the forehand there was uh, forehand in motion. Fluent stroke under the most immense pressure. And now his own service. Whew. You start to feel for Lin Gao Yuan if he ends up losing this point. His sleep tonight is going to be very, very spotty. Xu Xin roaring with excitement and the satisfaction of victory after looking at defeat dead in the eyes for five straight points from down 5-10. He lost the first two games of this match. He was down 2-3 and a good pat on the back. Outstanding camaraderie, but a tough look in the eye. Lin Gao Yuan not able to face Xu Xin, not able to walk through the door with it wide open and the carpet rolled out. What a performance from the Cloud Walker. And he is playing in his dreams right now. Speaking of clouds and everything else, he will move on to the quarterfinals over Lin Gao Yuan. And he's just pushing him back again, the job application. He's going to have to reapply in future years. The 22-year-old still trails behind Xu Xin as he moves on. And look at the scores here on screen. My word, on such small, small margins, our table tennis matches won and lost the faintest of edges. Uh, back, what was it, at 10-7? I was thinking it was the point that made it 10-6, the could first be, match could be, yeah, it was, we saw. It was around about that, my word. But he was able, at the end of the match, to get his forehand in all the time, and uh, that was crucial. Yeah, and that's, that's a point. Always the forehand was working from Xu Jin. And it's tough to say what to do. Lin Gao Yuan, that was the first point we had seen him pushed so far back from the table. He decided to play it a little bit more safe and back off. Didn't think he could take the pressure near the table and then tries to go for the short side and it sails just long. Wow, sold out crowd getting their money's worth here. Amazing match, stick around, we've got another one coming up. You're watching the Liebherr World Table Tennis Championships 2017 live from Dusseldorf. And these are the points, Xu Xin gets so many back on the table and with that side spin on top of the ball, it's just difficult to deal with. Lin Gao Yuan stuck in a position. He could try playing it deep to the backhand, but he I tries so. to... Yeah, that might be the easier way to go. Oh, I think as a rule of thumb, you get the player back from the table, go down the backhand. Right, whenever you can, that's... You know, the, the opponent's going to be less dangerous to counter with the backhand. Although Marcos Freitas yesterday versus Timo Boll did it successfully on several occasions. Timo Boll in great form right now. I know the home crowd yeah. will be absolutely on fire watching him play.
So with the second towel break of the game, again, point for point, dead even. I'm trying to think of the great comebacks I've seen Shushin have. I've seen him lose a game to a foreigner in the first and then quickly turn it around. I think this, I, I'm thinking, am I thinking Asian Championships in Pattaya? Or Asian, Asian Games, maybe? He was 3-0 down, came back to win against, was it Mitsutani? I'm not sure. But I think this is one comment that uh, head coach Lou Goliang has made about him. Too often, too often he's having to come back. Right, that's something as a coach you don't want to be. It's, it's quite a stressful experience. You don't want the opponent to have a good look at winning the match. As far as comebacks against Mizutani, Kuwait Open 2016. Ah, twice. Uh, also, when we played in the... Asian Championships when we played in India, exactly the same. And that would be, I think, 2010. Um, he had three match points for Japan to beat China in the final of the men's team event. Uh, lost three, then had one more and lost the match. And then earlier this, earlier last year... In Kuwait. In Kuwait, he was... 10-4. Ten, 10-4 four. Ten four in the seventh, wasn't he? And yeah, lost eight right. in a row. Yeah. Or as I should say, Shushin won eight in a row to steal the yeah, match. Sure. So impressive composure and mental game from Shushin. Man, if that ball comes down on the table off the top of the net, it's going to be very difficult to deal with. That one sits up just a little bit too high. Lingal, you went at the back of the table so quick, and his placement has been on point. I'm very impressed with his balance and his speed. And he uses the opponent's spin and speed so well, and he can be a very dangerous player, and I think is a realistic threat to take this tournament, to knock out the top two seeds. off the top of the net, but good focus there from Ling Yuen to keep it in play. So now three game points for Ling Yuen to go up two to zero over Shushin and force one of those comebacks, a classic comeback from Shushin yeah, yeah. that we've talked about. That's right. Oh, beautiful flip kill, short side, parallel down the line. One game point saved at the third towel break. Just in case you're curious, Xu Xin in the opening round beat Tomas Polanski from Czech Republic, four to two, dropping two games in his first match. Poland's pen holder sensation, Wang Zengyi, four to zero, and then Ugo Calderano in the last round, four games to one. Calderano, very impressive player, so. Solid victory for Shushin. Well placed a little bit more onto the elbow on the forehand side, and Shushin saves another game point. Pressure starting to build for the Dark Knight in red. Zhujin looking. Difficult, but it's so close to keep the service short. Ooh. Heavy side spin on the reverse pendulum, and the receive carries off wide. Ling Gao Yuan 11 to 9 to take the second game for a 2 to 0 lead. We'll be back for game three right after this.
And as we come back for game three, it's a 2-0 lead for the lesser known player, Ling Galyuen in red. Also five years younger and lower on the world rankings. And as you mentioned, Ian, that reverse pendulum serve pulled out in a clutch moment after dropping two game points. Well, exactly. It's the first time I think I've seen him use it. What do you do? That forehand flip kill, the receive wasn't bad at all. And from this angle, it's tough to tell how high the ball is. But it looked like a solid receive. So fast to get in. Well, what's impressed in me, uh, we've praised his talents, but Lingo Yanni's playing in a uh, mighty, mighty important table tennis match. He's very, very composed. And that right there was very difficult. Shushin spinning it wide out to the forehand and then softly playing it to the exact opposite corner. And as fast as the backhand is from Lin Gao Yuan, one thing we haven't seen a lot of is when the ball is coming in slowly, him generating a lot of power from his backhand. He's very good at using his opponent's spin and speed for the counter game. That one's not coming back. Signature oh. step around forehand attack from Shushin. Look at that ball just bend away. A little bit of side spin on it for the inside out shot. Strong from the shoulder. Well focused, a loaded ball and he stays on top of it. Pummels through. Now, I think it might have been a shoulder injury that we saw in 2015. Shushin was having a little bit of... He did, didn't he, against Frank Bo? Right. That's right. Was it the end of the fifth game or end of the sixth game? No, that's right, true. And we rarely see him injured at all. I mean, the injuries we know about from China, of course, Zhang Zikou. But uh, Shushin feels, and Ma Long as well, I think that what he said was the only thing he fears is injury. Other than that, if he stays healthy, he's on top of the game. How long sort of automatic forehand, <laughs> right? But uh, for Zhu Jin, it's it's finding the opportunity to play this big forehand, and uh, at the moment, Lin Go Yang's nullified that. Ooh, there we go. Those are some of the fastest steps I've seen from Xu Xin to turn the corner. He didn't leave early. He waited until the ball was contact, and then quickly shuffled the feet. Have a chance to see it here, soft touch. Opening backhand. And of course, arguably, uh, Zhu Jin is stronger with the forehand from the backhand because he can turn his body easily more naturally. So better for Zhu Jin this game. I think we forget sometimes these are two left-handed players. Well, it's a point I was going to make, of course. Um, Oh, arguably, maybe Zhu Jin is better against the right hand, the way he can create the angles. Very familiar score here. This is some of the fastest pace back and forth cross courts here. But again, even from under the table, you could see the timing and Zhu Xin putting a bit of side spin on it. Heavy top spin, the point goes the way of Zhu Xin. In game one, it didn't. This is when the comeback started many points in a row for Lin Gao Yuan. Chinese fans in the crowd there. They show up on the world tour. I think that's cool. I'm excited to see more people internationally sure. following their favorite players around the world. Yeah, we were both in Qatar this year. Yes. And uh, there's the uh, Jiang Jiko fan club. And at the end of the day, I'm the master of ceremonies. They come across to me and I have to sign all their scarves. And I said, you know, this is ridiculous. Why? They said, we like the way you pronounce Jiang Jiko. <laughs> Quite amazing. The Yorkshire accent from the north of England. <laughs> it's a very rich accent many people wish they were born with. And you can see here Lin Gaiyuan using the table, playing wide to the forehand quite a bit. The deep forehand corner is his hot spot middle of in doubles two times in 2015. And he's looking to be in good form. I guess we've got the men's doubles final That's later fun. today with Fan Zhendong and Xu Xin versus Masataka Morizono and Yuya Oshima. You know, when the two Japanese players played, they had two match points on the eventual world champions in 2015 in Suzhou. So we'll see. And just to let you know, 
You can follow us on social media at ITTF World, all the social media from Facebook to Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Weibo. You can send in your questions, ask, uh, excuse me, hashtag Ask the Commentator. Ian and I will be happy to address anything you have to ask. And when it comes to history, nobody knows it better than Ian Marshall. So the encyclopedia is here. Take advantage of that. Now, looking at these two players, consistency with Lin Gao Yuan, if he can perform under pressure, again, the test is here. Now, also, as far as the draw goes, Xu Xin, the only player to beat Ma Long twice in 2016, the most undefeated player in the world since 2015. I mean, only had one loss in 2015 on the world tour to Sean Quinn. And Xu Xin twice early on in the year was able to do it. So against Fan Zhendong, he's seemed to lose grip pretty much, and it seems quite unlikely. But you never know. Well, I think here, uh, this is the, the big test. This is the uh, test as to which comes away with the honors degree. I think this is a massive test for both of them. I mean, remember Lin Gao Yang, uh, four World Junior Championships. I first saw him in 2009 in Cartagena de Indias in Colombia. He lost semi-final Fang Bo. Then the next three, he lost in the final. Uh, let me see. First, he lost to Song Hong Yuan. He then lost to Koki Niwa, and he then lost to Fan Zendong. And three, three finals, and he lost them all. So there is this little question mark over Lin Gao Yang. And Koki Niwa still in the tournament. A lot of people curious after he beat Xu Xin at the Asian Championships if he has the power to do it. He also beat Ma Long in 2012. So the real question is, who is capable of beating the top Chinese players? And we've got a few players left in the tournament from outside of China that are capable of picking off one here and there. Either way, Lin Gao Yuan now to start off this best of seven round of 16 singles match with the serve. Awkward ball, slow and spinny at the back of the table. Xu Xin carefully waits for it to come off to make the attack. Now, for me with Lin Gao Yuan, the question was, would he be able to get through all the foreigners to make it to the Chinese players? And he's managed to do it. Well, that's the first test, isn't it? It really is. Beautiful backhand. Now, this is where Xu Xin gets beaten wide to the forehand early in the point because he's so quick to step around the corner and make that cross court or at least the step around forehand attack. Now just to let you know, Lin Gao Yuan in the opening round, we saw him play against Alexander Kanin from Belarus, and after that played Daniel Habison, who knocked out Kenta Matsudaira, so who was having a great tournament. And then following that beat Sharth Kamala Chanta from India, four games to two. Beautiful flip kill. Now with the penhold grip, it's naturally down. You're not fighting gravity as much as shake hands. The flip game over the table, it's going to be very strong. And also with all that wrist flexibility, Shushin can put it anywhere on the table with his forehand flips. And that is one of his strengths. I would suggest, as you've intimated, his problem, if he has a problem, it's when he's pinned to the backhand. And that's easier said than done. Right idea here, trying to go down the line to the forehand. Now, Xu Xin with a very long stroke. He takes the ball a bit later than most of his Chinese teammates, which is probably why he has to have such fast footwork to cover so much ground with the ball being taken that late. But we get to see a lot of lobbing rallies, some very creative shots hooking with side spin because they're taken from down low. Beautiful fast serve right into the backhand for the point. Can't remember the last time I've seen such a fast, straight serve from Xu Xin. No, when we look at Xu Xin, we, we associate Asian players having short, quick strokes. Well, I mean, Xu Xin's forehand, as you just see this, it's the length of the River Nile. It's so, so long, it goes right round his backside. Incredible length for an Asian player. So, so far, he hasn't let Lin Gao Yuan get comfortable. He's up by four. Two serves here for Gao Yuan. But in the touch game as well, Shushin over the table is just very solid, very comfortable to start off the match.
Lin Gao Yuan in beautiful form, coming back from a very dark place, 2-7 down, manages to take it 12-10, and what a performance. Xu Xin versus Lin Gao Yuan, the Dark Knight. Game two coming up after this. Back for game number two and Shushin the Cloud Walker in blue with the serve down zero games to one against the Dark Knight Lin Gao Yuan in red. Mental strength from Lin Gao Yuan to come back from 2-7. Well, he's very composed, isn't he? Um, compared with other matches of this level, they're both being very quiet. Right, it's always interesting to see how players from the same national association either show their respect or change their behavior when they're playing each other. That's right. I mean, I, I, I watched uh, the Japanese play, I mean, the sensation, Tomokazo Harimoto play um, Mr. Tani. I mean, every point he was uh, yelling, motivating himself, not doing anything wrong. I mean, not doing anything wrong at all, but just totally different character to these two. Very, very subdued. That is superb. Very, very fast. Top of the bounce. I just gave Zuzhin no time at all. It's funny you brought up Harimoto because credit to him for playing his game. He didn't change. He stuck. This is how he always plays, and he does what he needs to to play his best game. I applaud him. No, it's not a criticism whatsoever. It's just the, uh, the response that Harimoto had when he's playing a fellow Japanese player compared with these two. Right, it's yeah, interesting, it's the drastic difference. Yeah. yeah. So Lin Gao Yuan only 22 years old. So another young prospect for the future of China to team up with Fan Zhendong in the future. Interesting. Oh, well played. Now you mentioned the soft hands, the great touch of Lin Gao Yuan. I think he's going to have to try and be aggressive early in the point to push Shushin back off the table because Shushin's just too unpredictable when he's over the table. Main thing for uh, Lin Gaoyang, if we talk about power in table tennis, well, he has a lot because of his high skill level. But if he's back from the table against Shushin, he's, he's going to lose. His task is to stay close to the table uh, because Shushin, of all the Chinese players, I think he needs that little bit more time than most. So for, for um, Lin Guoyan, stay close to table and uh, play as quickly as you can. Now, top spin. Ah, that's the way, that's the way. And uh, for uh, Zhu Jin, well, he has to find a way to uh, execute this lethal forehand. This one carries just a bit wide. There is extra pressure, though, when you see that Shushin is not turning the corner and you've already decided to play it to the forehand to make it as wide as possible and as deep as possible so that you don't have to deal with just a murderous forehand coming back. Now, Shushin, world rank number three, is 27 years old, the youngest of the three elder members of the big four. Well, he's making mistakes there, is uh, Lin Goyan, but... For me, that was the right tactic. And at this point in the game, in game one, he's much better off than he was last game. <laughs> that's right, too. What, what was it? 7 2, did you? That's right. Seven, two? Yeah. 
It's always interesting to see as well, you know, Chinese Super League, anything happening on Chinese soil against your teammates versus on the world stage. For Fan Zhendong, he was 3-0 and zero against Ma Long and hadn't beaten him a single time on the world tour until relatively recently in the last year. Beautiful backhand, and he follows it up more to the middle of the table while Xu Xin's looking to step around. Placement's so important. Gavin and I talked a lot about Timo Bull's placement yesterday and how he always seems to jam up the opponent and be in the right position. That ball looked like it was in reach from that angle, but Xu Xin was clearly surprised by the placement. Once again, parallel down the line, deep to the backhand corner. Once he can get Shushin off the table, his speed is going to be really tough for Shushin to deal with. Oh, beautiful patience. Waits for just a moment, sees it coming off the table, and as soon as Shushin takes a step and leans to the backhand corner, he goes the other way. He did well to pick that up. Textbook forehand stroke on the receive. Really just picture perfect here. And not easy. You could see from the weight he had to be in near the table, but it's tough to be leaning forward at the table right there as well. Look at these surprises left and right. That's four points in a row from down 2-7. What a turnaround. The game's not over until it's over. Shushin's going to have to get in earlier. He's going to have to focus on his receives because once he's back off the table, it's trouble. Most powerful forehand flip we've seen from Lin Gao Yuan, a kill shot. And that's the point. He's able to do that because he is so, so good from the wrist, so good from the hands. You know, as a commentator, a lot of people ask, Adam, who do you think is going to win? And it's tricky. Most people are only focusing on Ma Long and Fan Zhendong, which is reasonable, but Lin Gao Yuan could sneak in here and surprise a lot of people. I think you called him the dark horse. I think you hit the nail on the head, Adam. Again, deep to the backhand. He's moving around well. He's breaking the patterns. Just a few shots wide to the forehand and a few deep to the backhand. And Xu Xin can't anticipate, can't move early. And if he waits too long, again, he finds himself back from the table and in trouble. So six straight points for Lin Gao Yuan. <clears throat> this is better anticipation. Xu Xin gets a ball where he's going and counters it quickly to stay in the point and take it. Now, one thing we see Xu Xin do a lot of is that underspin, side spin, sort of slicing shot out wide from his forehand. I wonder if we're going to see that from Lin Gao Yuan. Oh, a little bit off the top of the net, but a beautiful counter. And also, we talked about the speed of Lin Gao Yuan. He's so fast. Even right behind the table, he can use his opponent's power and get a confident stroke back. Such efficient strokes. Incredibly efficient. Efficient because of the hand skills. Oh, beautiful counter, stays on top of it. Now, Shushin's forehand is so powerful. He's got a very long stroke, but he's really having to stay focused here to get on top of that ball because it's loaded with spin when Lin Gao Yuan takes that shot. But, uh, I mean, being hypercritical, why on earth does Lin Gao Yuan play the first attack to the forehand? Why not down the middle or to the backhand? Right, as soon as Shushin looks to be a little bit more central on the table where he's not stepping around the backhand corner. Playing it to the forehand is going to be dangerous. So tied up here after being down 2-7, dead even in the first game. And the risky serve does not pay off. It goes long off the back end. Game point to Lin Gao Yuan, the dark knight. Now Lin Gao Yuan needs to look because the chances are that it won't be short. This serve is under pressure. Keep looking for the top spin, Lin Gao Yan. Keep looking. Oh, good service. A little bit surprised that one got past him. Xu Xin has used side spin on his loops throughout the match. And that one just took a good jump just out of the way of Lin Gao Yuan's racket. Different angle at the point here. 
See that ball bending away wide to the forehand. Lin Gaiyuan looking down at the table. Crazy kick. Let's see if he attacks the backhand. Now that's that's the tactics for me from Lin Gaiyuan. Almost looked like he took a little pace off. I think there was maybe. Yeah, it slowed down. It was left in front of Shushin a little bit. Another game point back to Lin Gaiyuan. Look for the serve, drift in long, then go young. Look for it. No oh. finishing shot. What a point in a way to clinch game one. 12 10.